Regarding the GrowStar 1000W model uh, grow light that I received, uh, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up. Uh, the light actually is a uh, about 100 watts. It has a, a true watt of around 102 watts coming from the wall. Uh, now the driver is 150 watts, so there is a little bit of a current drop going through the board. But this has uh, turned out to be uh, a better light than I expected. Uh, one of the things that uh, I wanted to quickly mention is that um, because of the nature of the light, it does produce a little bit higher PPFD uh, coming straight down uh, towards the middle in that one foot by one foot area underneath the light. Um, you could get around a uh, say at 12 inch hanging height, uh, 32 uh, daily light integral, which uh, is sufficient for growing fruiting plants such as peppers, tomatoes, uh, eggplant, things of that nature. And uh, the uh, outer area, if you go out to say like a two foot by two foot, that outer um, perimeter does drop off substantially to around uh, 12 uh, on the daily light integral scale, uh, which is more in line with growing uh, lettuce. So uh, one of the things that I did to kind of counteract or counteract the um, effect of the uh, differential in the PPFD was to only run the light for 12 hours a day. And so uh, what you see behind you here are romaine uh, lettuce heads, and they're in a five gallon bucket uh, using the uh, cracky method of hydroponics. And what I have found is that this uh, GrowStar light has been remarkable in terms of how quickly it produces heads of lettuce. and. If you are looking for something that uh, you'd like to do a small grow, I would suggest that this is going to be a candidate for a two foot by two foot space. Um, what I'd like to do next is to uh, give you a little bit of a close up of the uh, light, the lettuce, and the roots, just for anyone who happens to be curious. I'll provide a link in the comments below to the uh, unboxing video where I actually looked at uh, PPFD maps and other relevant data. Uh, this um, does have to be uh, mounted fairly level uh, with a uh, back to front and side to side uh, measurement to get the most uh, use out of it. And that's going to be the same for most quantum boards. You want your light to come down directly uh, beneath the light and to not be cast more one side or the other side. The uh, diodes, uh, you could tell that uh, there is a mixture of cool and warm LED diodes uh, as well as a little bit of your uh, infrared. And so, uh, as I mentioned, uh, 12 inches beneath that plant, you're looking at roughly uh, 32 uh, DLI. And these um, romaine lettuce heads on 12 hours a day are just, just ginormous. Um, it's unreal how fast these lettuce heads are, are growing under this light. This is a crack key bucket setup. Um, those two are growing in two inch net cups, just like the ones in the front here, they're empty. And there's a rock wool cube that I placed into those. And I started out with the nutrient water just at the base of the rock wool cube. I'll go ahead and pop the lid on this so you can see the roots. Now, you can uh, get a, an idea of how the roots have grown down into the water. There's no air pump, uh, there's no water pump. This is just a passive system. And uh, the roots are looking very good. They've kind of intertwined a little bit. And the bucket is uh, about halfway depleted of nutrient. So uh, if I were growing four heads of lettuce, you would expect to see the bucket is gonna be probably empty at this point in time. But let's go ahead and clamp that back down. And we'll give you one more overhead view, just so you can see that uh, there's no leaf burn. These uh, lettuce heads are just looking fabulous, better than anything you're gonna find in a store. So once again, uh, the GrowStar model 1000W LED light, 102 true watts, is going to be a very nice light for a two by two space. And as a matter of fact, I think that in the future, I will probably challenge the light a bit more by growing uh, some sort of uh, small fruiting plant, maybe a tomato, uh, maybe a pepper underneath it.